Hello everyone, my name's Jay Beetle, right there, and uh, this is Fran Bo. Let's get into it and I'll explain it on the way. Everything's fine. It feels like heaven. I see my parents. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder... It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Dark as the deepest night. It's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. My only friend. We are having dinner and I see Aunt Grace too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh, look at the little tongue. We are having so much fun. It's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. Something feels real bad. A strange creature outside my window. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly I hear something. It's Mom, screaming. I want to know what's wrong. Bright light shines from my parents' room. I go closer. And closer. Mom? Dad? Please don't. Mommy? Daddy? Ugh. It got bad quick. Holy crap, there's blood everywhere. So obviously this is a horror game. Point and click to be more specific. You probably saw some demos about it a couple years ago, but it finally was released. Mr. Midnight just can't stay with her. I love how the opening's like a lot like a storybook, other than, you know, being chopped into pieces. Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One. Two. Three. Fran, how do you feel? I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody is within. I want to go home. You can't go home, Fran. You have to get well. I need my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, Fran. Oh, really? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Thank you for the purse. Oh, I have to click on it. This was my mother's purse. How sad. Open it. There's something inside. Can I, oh, you use. Yeah. Oh, examine. Duh. Dearest Fran, here's the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. And that is the tutorial. <laughs> She's worried about you. 
Aunt Grace? Well, another reason to let me go. Well, don't worry about her. She's fine. Can I leave now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it's time for your medicine. What medicine? It's called duotine, and it'll make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Anything new today, Dr. Dearn? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. <laughs> hair top, hair flip. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Click. Alright. I don't feel good. And that is something um, a bit a bit much. Oh no, take her back to her room. And nurse, don't let her take this ever again. And that's the intro of Fran Bo. Beware, Fran Bo. If you leave the house of madness, I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Fran, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. So essentially that monster is saying that even if she escapes, not the mental house, but her insanity, meaning if she gets better, he'll find a way to make her fall back into insanity. All right, let's get up. I'm still here. Hideous place. I have to get out of here. All right, so. I did play some of the demo, so I do know a little bit of what to do, but they might have changed some things, and I need a refresher anyway. So her name is Fran Bo Dagenhart. She's only 10 years old. That's important because they do a really good job of portraying this little girl rather than someone that's old that's speaking as a little girl, like I am in a weird way. Anyway, the patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. De details of them being chopped to pieces were omitted. Although, maybe that's a red herring. Like, she didn't actually see them get chopped to pieces. That's just what was in her mind. Anyway, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Suck a what? Dear, I really wonder who brought me here. Probably her aunt. Good reason to get curious. Hello, clown. I'll get your nose. I'll get it. She's so happy. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. Right, let's look at what I drew. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. Those are the pills. Hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Okay, not very helpful. Uh, did I click on this already? Oh, sweet, sweet melody. Yep. Look what you did, Fran. So we got a hook. That'll come in handy later, obviously. A good point and click gives you items not in order. And you might say, well, obviously. But there are so many mediocre ones that do not. Oh, alright. Can I open it? Oh, okay, it instantly gave me a key. I hope somebody loves you. Alright, hello, Phil. Hello. Know any way out? There are many ways out. Everything's locked. Indeed, the office is the key. What do you mean? I saw the doctor write a secret code. Secret code to open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Him. 
Where are you pointing? Oh! All doors are closed. You are a prisoner of my games. Look at the little souls. Nobody will help you escape. Me alone, I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No! I won't let that monster stop me. So I'm not really playing this to get scared like I will Soma, because I expect a jump in that one. I'm playing it just for the story, because it is kind of interesting. And I do like the horror stories, even if I don't actually jump. I used to have a blue dress just like yours. Alright, his name is Filmer Bronstone. He's two years younger than Fran. He developed paranoid behavior. And he won't be questioned. Okay, so we have a key now. We just have to figure out what it is. I assume this as simple as that? No, it's not as simple as that. Which is good, I think. Alrighty. Got to got to find out. Oh, it's boarded up. I see a jungle gym. Or that's not a jungle gym, that I don't know. That playground apparatus. I can't see through I don't want to see through the window, I wanna look in here. Nothing, 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 nothing. Okay. Hello, ma'am? Oh, Fran, you're awake. Good. How long was I asleep? Three days, maybe. Was it the medicine? Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it anymore. I did something. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. <laughs> Accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Alright, so she's gonna run away. Because I broke the curtains. So not only did I get the hook, I, I got her away from me. So I can check her. Curious, she would go crazy by touching- Yeah, but- Really? I'm not- Okay, never mind. You know what? I'm talking like I know what I'm supposed to do, but I actually didn't. Something's missing. Have you seen that hook that holds the curtains? I've seen nothing. We'll have to go and find something to fix this, you little girl. <laughs> uh, the expressions are so well done for Fran. Not so much on anyone else, but it's really funny. Her happiness. Well, I'll keep these patches to stop the blood. All right, nurse. All right, this is the nurse's right up. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes back to sleep. She hasn't been. I don't know what that says. I knew what it said the first time. No problem. It looks like cereal, but that's not right. Some kids have come around and asked about her, and when she would come out and play, patients ate. H. So that's actually important, the 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, D, F, because it says, I, and I'm, I'm going out of order, but I promise after I get out of here, this area, that it won't be spoiled, but the, the code is hide, so it's 8, 9, 4, 5. Hopefully I'll come across that quickly. I, it's right here. There you go. Actually, that's not a spoiler, because I, I immediately get it. All right. I can't take the gun that she has in her... Violent trauma can have a great impact on children. Of course it can. So she saw something, but probably misremembered it. So yeah, I'm going to use this and already already know what to do. Luckily, that's not a spoiler or really even out of order because I forgot that I got it immediately. 945. Yes. Magic pills. So this is when the game gets interesting. Take some pills. Things change around me. For the worse, maybe? You got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, Fran. Get out, creepy creature. So I'm not really sure what this area, this world is about. I'm not sure if it's just what she pretends to see. I kind of think it's more than just what she sees. Ah, I got, got this little... Can't com I don't think I can combine it with anything yet. Anyway, later on, it'll lead me to believe that you can actually... Oh, that's the key, okay. I, I thought I tried that first. 
that it's actually people can see that everything. So we combine that with that. Yeah, there we go. So she makes her own key. And uh, scary stuff like this. Oh man. Why do you have my head? Give me my head back, please. Oh, uh, who? Who did it? Yeah, that's a good point. It says omitted. I really hope it doesn't end with Fran. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. She has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. So there's a lot of things that could happen there. She could be believing that she, that Fran was the actual killer, and she's insane. I doubt that's actually the last conclusion. Doctor has no soul, I'm going home tonight. Yeah. Hello, oh, Fox. Foxy Fox, don't cry. Don't... Everyone cries blood in this game. Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. What's that black thing sitting next to you? You can see. Yes, I can. Perhaps these shadows are the ones making them sick in their own way. Oh, look what I did. Oh, look what I did. Sorry, I can't help you. I can't put your head back on. I don't know what that would accomplish even if I could. Alright, so, of course it's locked. However, I have this little guy. Oh. What was that? Daddy was not there. Mommy would not care. Alright, I think that's good for the first episode. We just got our pills, and we're ready to see the world in a whole new light. Stay with me. Please subscribe if you like this episode. To see more, I'll see you in the next one.